Yeah. Uh, first off, congratulations on the film, guys. Thank you. Uh, um, I watched it this afternoon in a in a roasting my roasting bedroom, but it, it, <laughs> it kept me going through the afternoon. I'll be honest. So Good. huge congratulations. Uh, I just wanted to start with um, you going to the London Film Festival. Maybe start with you, Eva. Uh, obviously, yeah. such a great platform for London Film Festival, and we're seeing now slowly but surely some of the films that were there and are slowly getting distribution. And everything else. How exciting was that experience? And then to jump off of that into now having the film. Uh, being picked up and, and being shown in a, in a week or so. Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, it's just so nice to have a premiere of the film and it was really special that it was in London because um, both Frankie and Alfie and me, we all live near London. Um, and it was really fun, wasn't it, Frankie? Like going to Yeah, it was well good. So, so nice. Um, you know, and just like everyone works so hard in the film and, you know, it's it's just exhausting making a film and then so it's just nice to have that that place where you can just celebrate and like have all your fr friends and family there it's incredible i was also like about a week away from giving birth to my baby so it was all like very hormonal and like emotional and amazing and um, so that was lovely and then um later on down the line like i didn't i didn't know where it would go but i, I was just so happy to know that it's going to come out in the uk um so I was just absolutely buzzing when I found that, found that out. And I'm just so excited to see where, you know, who's going to see it and what kind of reactions are going to be offered. So it's all good. I'm super happy about it. Yeah. Frankie, how was your experience of the uh, London Film Festival? Was it exciting, but also nerve wracking given it was people are going to see the film for the first time? I was just like, it was, I don't know, it was all a bit, it was mad because uh, obviously I've never done anything like this before. At the time I'd been through like so much and I didn't know if I'd be able to actually go to London Film Festival because I'd like my surgery literally weeks before it all happened. Like I got my staples taken out the day of London, like the uh, festival. Yeah, I had to go to the hospital in the morning and get my staples taken out. It was all, so I didn't even know if I was going to be able to go and then to see, to like have my friends and my family able to see me like, because a lot of them it was the first time they'd seen me since like the operation and then like for them to see everything that I'd done it was just yeah it was amazing yeah how, how are you feeling now by the way great like really really good I've had a healthy lockdown if that makes sense like I've yeah. been my health's like good now that's good fantastic great news uh yeah, so I mean, I mean, I really, really enjoyed the film. It's it's really, uh, really fantastic with some fantastic performances, and uh, yeah, it's 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 a wonderful film. I just wondered, Eva, what was the kind of genesis for you for this, and was it a difficult sell this particular story? Was it was did you, did you find it easy to to get people to come on board and, and finance it? Um, well, so it was done through eye features, so it was kind of like a, it's a scheme where you get like I think it was ten groups of filmmakers get selected. So I I had a really basic idea I can't actually remember and it was always basically the genesis was always that um it was about a brother and a sister and I think when I came on board I features I'd already had the idea that we had the gymnastics and the motorbikes involved as well because I I wanted the brother and sister to kind of have their own individual passions um, and I got really interested in gymnastics and motorbikes at that time so I guess you know there's lots of flashy things in gymnastics and motorbikes so I guess that was possibly appealing and I, I, I used a lot of that in the pitches when I was pitching to get the final money for the film and um, but also you know you can't just live on loan on things like gymnastics and motorbikes there had to be like a real sort of emotional core to it so um, a lot of the process of eye features was um, just kind of trying to find this real simple simple story through 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 the narrative um, and you know just to find something really humane and interesting at the heart of it um, and I think that's maybe what got me to the to the end point where we got the money to make the film. Yeah, and Frankie, for you, I mean, what was your what? How did the script come come on come onto your desk, or did, was it a, <laughs> was it one of your parents, or was it through a, through a, through acting classes or something that you got the script? And, and uh, no, I'd never done any acting at all before I did Perfect Ten, and my gymnastics coach actually saw it on Facebook, okay. and she was like, "Oh, you should go for that." Like you you probably like enjoy that sort of thing. It'd be like good fun. And I thought, oh yeah, I'll go for that. That looks fun. I'll give it a go. And then, yeah, I ended up getting the part. And I was like, what happens now? <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so grateful to Frankie's gymnastics coach because you might not have seen the audition if she hadn't noticed it. Yeah, I think it was literally because um, like, obviously in the gymnastics community, if something comes on like that, it gets shared around. And somehow it came onto my coach's page and then she told me about it and I told my mum and then she sent it to my mum and then we went up to Brighton and here we are. 
yeah. <laughs> here we are indeed. A lot of different um, stages of the audition. So it was like an initial interview, wasn't it, Frankie? Um, yeah, just like a chat, wasn't it? Like it was like 15 minutes. It was really quick. Yeah, it was like 15 minute chat just to get to people, know people. And then we uh, we called back people who we were interested in and we started to do acting auditions. But we put Frankie through the mill, didn't we? Because we had lots of different auditions before we, we gave you the part. Oh yeah, there was like the group one, then the one with that um, other person that you had in. Yeah. And then the ones with like, the first one with Alfie, and the second one with Alfie, and the other boys. Yeah. So it was a bit like a, it was a, bit like a gymnastics movie X Factor. It was. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew Frankie so well by the end of the process, like by the time I... I yeah, literally. I knew you so well, didn't I? <laughs> Eva, was that always your, your plan to cast an unknown or was that just how, how kind of the cards, the cards fell and that, 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 that Frankie was, was the person that you wanted? I mean, I thought it probably would end up being someone who hadn't acted before because the, the actors, you know, the characters meant to be very young and I didn't want to cast an older actress. And also I really wanted her to be a gymnast and not to fake the gymnastic stuff. So I figured it would probably be that way. Um, but with both with Frankie and, um, sorry, with the character of Joe and Lee, we, we opened up to all kinds of actors. It's just was that Frankie and Alfie were the best for the part. <laughs> Frankie, what did, what did, when you read the script for the first time, what was it about Lee as a character that obviously she does the gymnastics stuff, so that's, uh, that's kind of your forte. But as a, as, a, as a character, the more you kind of read it, what was it that kind of piqued your interest? I quite liked how like she didn't take any crap from anyone and she kind of say it how it is and if she didn't like someone she'd let them know and like she was quite like strong but she also like wasn't in a way so she had a bit of a wall that she put up so that people thought that everything was all right all the time but really she had a lot going on at home and she just like didn't let it show and I don't know I kind of like that like uh, especially with like the you don't take nonsense from no one I thought that was that's quite similar to how I was. I don't know. I really like the character. Yeah, it definitely comes across on on screen. You did a fantastic job. Even I mean, how how even how long did it take for? Was this a quick a quick shoot? Was this uh, did this take a few months or was it was it was it days in in some respects? It was. Um, I think it was twenty seven days plus maybe like a little extra half day at the end. Um. So yeah, I think apparently that's relatively long for like a low budget. A feature first feature so um but I really had to push for those days because um we did a lot of improvising on on set um and there was lots of different locations and actually it's quite a quite a big film in a way on a low budget because we had so many things going on in the film so we really needed that time and I think if we hadn't had that time we wouldn't have been able to get the good performances from the actors which was like really important for the film yeah I was gonna ask you about that actually because there is a lot of locations and a lot you shoot on yeah. location a, a lot and for some no respect to your film but yeah as you say some of the independent films they, they have three four maybe five locations or something like that but was that yeah. was that good to kind of jump off, in, in a sense jump off the cliff for, for this one and just be like yeah let's just go for it and, and hope that it that it works in the way that we want it to work well it was good I mean I features you know I, lo I knew it was low budget but like the I features people never sort of dissuaded me from ha you know when I was developing it from having lots of scenes so I never felt like okay I've got to limit myself too much myself too much um, in a way, so it was good. It really pushed me. I mean, it was very, pre-production was very intense because we had to get so many things in place. Um, but I'm really glad we did it in the end. We pushed ourselves to get that because I really think it, it, it's kind of like, it needs that sense of energy and movement and the characters moving into different spaces um, it's for the film to work, I think. Yeah. And Frankie, I wanted to ask you about your relationship with Joe slash Alfie because uh, it's a really intense but really kind of intimate relationship was that did you get on like a house on fire pretty straight straight away and did that make it easier for the two of you to, to play brother and sister yeah from literally the first time I ever met um Alfie it was at the oh where was it the first it was, audition it was Hastings wasn't it, it? it yeah yeah so from then even before the audition like all we was chatting in like the waiting bit and like laughing with each other and I think we got each other's Instagrams and stuff like that, and we were just like talking. And then when we like got on set and stuff, the whole time the camera was off, we would all be in stitches. Like it just be, it was so much fun to film. And even now, he always messages me, sees how I'm doing. We are, we in like real life, we have a, quite a brother sister relationship. Like he always wants to know how I'm doing, and like he not looks out for me because we don't know the same sort of people but he's always checking up on how I'm doing making sure I'm all right so yeah and it was so nice in that first audition when I it was like a chemistry test so it, it, I didn't know it was going to be them but we had different um 
pairs of boys and girls like to, to test them together. And I was like, whoa, when I saw Frankie and Alfie together because they were just laughing and joking. Like, I was like, how do you guys know each other already? <laughs> because they just met and, just... it. and it was like, they were like best friends. It was so amazing. <laughs> and I knew that's like the starting point. You know, you're together for a long time in a film yeah. and you don't yeah. want to, you know, want to have the starting point and you really get on, you know? Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to ask you about kind of releasing the film because obviously it's a it's a very strange time for for cinemas. Some are reopening, some are not. You know, there's there's a a silver lining in some respects for smaller movies in that there isn't a lot of the big movies around. So in some ways, it's kind of the silver lining is it might be quite good to to do that. I mean, how how have you gone about? Have you been obviously you're involved in the process? How have you gone about kind of the release? I mean, are you happy with the way that it's gone? Are you happy that it's it's going to be out there given that there's a lot of restrictions at the moment? Yeah, I mean, I'm just really happy it's out there. It's very exciting. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really pleased. It's such crazy times. So you know, what a privilege to be in any cinemas at all. And you know, because at one point, you know, at the beginning of lockdown, there was obviously nothing in cinemas. You know, until like tomorrow, I think it's only starting tomorrow. Open. Yeah. So, and I, I guess no one knew, um, no one knew when that would happen. So I'm just feel very lucky that it's able to be in cinemas. And also, it's nice because we filmed the film in August coming out in August it's like a real summer film so I think that's cool that it's coming out at this time so I'm just leaving the film in the trust of the people you know I know nothing about this end of things I just I just want people to see the film and enjoy it yeah I uh, just as a final question to both of you Eva for you as a director and Frankie for you as a, as a young person because obviously hopefully this will this will have a young audiences what it, what's the thing that you're hoping audiences take away from from this particular film because there's a lot going on and there's a lot to digest but it's a really fascinating story and a really wonderful kind of coming of age story about working class and about people kind of following their following their dreams uh, maybe Eva, i'll start with you okay i guess there's like a lot of cliches sometimes about younger people in the uk um and there can be quite sort of two-dimensional representations of people or like ideas about what people are like and i guess in this film like i really wanted to look at all different sides of these two like really interesting young people and like there's like a real tenderness i guess between them and like um i kind of wanted to play with expectations i guess um and I hope people just like look at how amazing like and resilient young people can be um, when they watch the film and just like fall in love with these two like really interesting characters, I guess. Yeah, Frankie, what about you? I guess I just kind of, I, I, obviously I want people to like enjoy it and kind of realise that like life isn't too serious and just to enjoy yourself and like kind of be sort of more in the moment and just do things that sort of thing. Have, have your friends and family seen it, Frankie? What did they think? Yeah, most of them have. And I just think it's mad because no one that I know or no one in my family has ever done anything like this. Like everyone's got, not, not boring jobs, I wouldn't say that, but very average jobs and they don't really do things like this. So they, they're all really excited. And like even at work today, someone who I didn't really know that well, he was like, oh, I saw the... Um, trailer for your films my mum's friend shared it and I was like oh my god yeah, it must be mad I can't even imagine what it would be like to be your age and having like been in a film like a feature film. It's, crazy. it's crazy yeah yeah I haven't so you know I still want that to come maybe but I'll be <laughs> yeah. a bit older <laughs> uh, Eva have you got have you got your next project or is the baby the next project at the moment the baby is the current project, yeah, but my next project, um, the next feature film is in the works. Um, that's like, and again, about teenage girls, but it's very different tonally. It's about this um, girl who creates a kind of cult following at her high school, and it's kind of a black, dark, absurdist comedy type of thing. And we're doing it with BBC Films, um, and it's probably going to be set in Scotland, though. So it's quite different, but at the same time, it's about teenagers and how interesting and weird that time can be. Fantastic. Look forward to that then. Uh, guys, congratulations on the film again. It was really, really fantastic. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time. I know it's a strange hour and a strange time, but uh, we really appreciate you chatting to us. So uh, yeah, thank you and, uh, and stay safe. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cheers. Bye. Bye-bye. See ya. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from The Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.